So I just find it funny how whenever I'm home, not doing nothing, you know, probably watching Key and Peel, no one texts me or calls me. But as soon as I start doing something with my life, like doing YouTube or editing a video, everybody and their mom hits me up. It's like people start jumping out the bushes on me and <laughs> it's just like, dude, just let me do this, okay? I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I need a psychiatrist. But anyways, <laughs> I thought I'd tell a good story today because I haven't told one in a while. And I also noticed that I haven't really, you know, told any, told you guys any stories about my experiences with girls. And I don't know, like, my relationship with men, women is just bizarre. And I feel like they would make great stories. So <laughs> for this one, I'm going to take you guys way back, like back to middle school type of shit. All right. So it's like early sixth grade year, right? And there was this rumor among like my clique and my clan that this girl liked me. Now, you guys know how it is in middle school, okay? It's not like high school where you could just walk up to people and you're like, yo, I like you. What are we going to do about this? <laughs> okay? They don't do that shit in middle school. If you like someone, you're going to have your friend go and tell them that you like them. You're not going to personally walk up to them and do that. So, you know, that was a rumor among, like, my friends. And what was special about the girl was the fact that she was in eighth grade, okay? So she's, like, two years ahead of me. So my friends gave me mad respect for that. They're like, who cares if you like her or not? Who cares if she's good looking? <laughs> just do it. So I finally got to see the girl and I just determined that I just didn't like her. <laughs> like it's, I, it's not like she was ugly or anything, but I just wasn't into it. But after they peer pressured the shit out of me, <laughs> okay, I just went ahead and I just said, yes, I did it. And here's a little funny side story to the situation, okay? <laughs> like, the first week of us dating, like, okay, so we would ride the bus together. Like, after school, we had the same bus, so we would always ride the bus together. And we would always kiss each other goodbye. And I don't know, like, I guess, like, I was scared or something. But whenever I kissed her, it would be a really fast peck or something like that. I don't know, maybe I was being a pussy. And <laughs> I guess she caught on to it. And one day she's just like, so are you like scared to kiss me? <laughs> I don't remember exactly how I responded, but I'm pretty sure like I tried to play it off. I was acting all cool. I was just like, girl, you crazy. Come here, girl. And I probably just slobbered all over her. But anyways, getting back on track. <laughs> so the whole week that we dated, it was just kind of awkward because I wasn't into it, so I wasn't entertained enough to want to do it. So a week goes by and I'm just like, I can't hang out with you anymore. I can't do this. <laughs> I want to play Tech Deck with my friends. And for those of you who don't know, Tech Deck were like these finger skateboards and they were fucking popular in middle school. Like they were in, like people fought over those things. So anyways, yeah, I just, after a week, I had to break it off to her. And she took it really hard. I don't know why, because for one, we're in middle school. And for two, it's been like a week, lady. Like, why do you like me so much? And I wasn't one of those kids that was just fine as hell. Like, I was just cute. Like, I had a baby face. I was just cute. I wasn't like, you know, what are those, what are the, what, what are teenage girls into nowadays? The Bryson Tiller. There we go. I wasn't a fucking Bryson Tiller, you know? I was like a fucking Spongebob ass nigga. <laughs> I was just cute. So, yeah, I had. she took it really hard. And I remember, like, the next day, her big-ass brother, this fucking guy that's, like, three times my size, he just walks up to me. He's like, yo, you made my sister cry all night. And I just felt really bad. Like, I just didn't know she would take it this hard. And I remember, like, the brother, he just bullied me for the rest of the year just because of that. Just because I didn't want to date his freaking sister. All because my friends peer pressure me into this. So, so much for friendship. Wow. This story is actually taking a lot longer to tell than I thought it would. And I don't want to upload a super long video to YouTube. So I'm just going to kind of make this like a two-part episode kind of thing. And upload the next part of the story on a separate video. Which is going to be still on this channel. So, my niggas, just uh, stay tuned in. <laughs> but them girls ain't true, yeah. Them girls just ain't true, yeah.